In 1986, a man named Morris Ward invented a special material named Starlight that he claimed could withstand extreme heat. Starlight was tested on a BBC TV program called Tomorrow's World and it proved to be resistant to exceedingly high temperatures. Despite many parties showing interest in Starlight, Ward was determined to keep the formula of the material a secret. Ward passed away in 2011 without ever revealing the formula to the public. Who was Ward? What was Starlight made of? And why was he so hesitant to sell or reveal Starlight's formula? Morris Ward was a hairdresser and did not have any formal education or training in chemistry. In 1985, 55 people died in a plane when a fire started during takeoff. The victims did not die due to the flames or heat, but due to the toxic fumes that they inhaled. Ward stated that this had inspired him to create Starlight, a material that produces no toxic fumes when subjected to extreme heat. Although Ward did not have a background in chemistry, he was often in his workshop mixing different types of materials to create unique hairsprays and shampoos. This is reportedly when he came across the formula to create Starlight. Initially, Ward tried contacting many chemical companies to test his product but majority of them refused. However, after he was featured on Tomorrow's World, many were baffled about this new discovery and tried to get in touch with him. In the show, he coated an egg with Starlight, where then the egg was subject to a temperature of 1200 degrees Celsius with a blowtorch. However, even after it was subject to such extreme heat for several minutes, the egg had not broken up at all. In addition to this, the yolk inside was still raw and the inside of the shell was barely warm at 35 degrees Celsius. Although there were materials that could resist heat at high temperatures at the time, none could do so without producing any toxic fumes. Following the material's appearance on Tomorrow's World, Starlight was tested on several sites including Royal Signals and Radar Establishment, an atomic weapons establishment both in the UK and the White Sands Missile Range in the US, where the material was subject to heat comparable to that produced in a nuclear explosion. According to reports, Starlight had withstood the heat on all these tests and had even been recommended to NASA. Despite all this testing, there was a lot of skepticism surrounding Starlight and some questioned if the material really does what it boasts to do. Besides his unwillingness to sell or share the formula of Starlight, the several tests that Starlight was subject to was also called into question. Although no one knows what Starlight is made up of, some have theorized that one of the primary ingredients of the material is PVA glue. Many have tried to replicate the effects of Starlight to varying success and there are several videos on YouTube showing people trying to achieve what Ward and Starlight supposedly did. I would recommend you watch the video on Starlight by Nighthawk in Light in where he tries to replicate the effects of Starlight. I will leave the link to his video in the video description below. According to a professor in University College London named Mark Meodonik, Starlight is fairly easy to make and many have already done so. He goes on to state that Starlight already exists in the commercial world, not as the brand that Ward created, but the material with the properties that Starlight claimed it had. In an interview conducted by the BBC, Ward's daughter was asked why anyone would opt for Starlight when other materials with similar properties already exist in the commercial market. She responded by saying, because Starlight will save your life. Even though Ward's daughter claims to know the formula to Starlight, she has yet to come out to the public with any relevant information regarding the material. She has, however, mentioned she is planning to bring it to the open market in the coming years. Towards the end of his life in 2009, Ward did show interest in collaboration and even started a blog and invited suggestions from others to bring Starlight into the commercial market. However, following his death, no news about the mysterious material has been revealed to this day. Maybe Starlight could have revolutionized the military and scientific field, or maybe it was just simply too good to be true, and the material was really nothing special. Until Ward's daughter decides to come out to the public and the commercial market with the formula, assuming that she really does have the formula of the material, we may probably never know how effective Starlight really is. <laughs>